caught on a dashboard camera, fly tippers in action. Just came round the corner to be confronted by a, a, a Ford Transit tipper tipping the rubbish into the middle of the road, accompanied by a passenger uh, who quickly got back in the van and drove off with rubbish still spewing out the back as they drove off. You feel quite outraged that these people just come along and feel like they can tip their rubbish wherever they like. And this shameless fly tipping in broad daylight was caught on camera by a London business. Council enforcers are still searching for the culprits who left behind this mess. Around the country, victims are demanding stiffer penalties. I think they need to be properly punished and they should know that this is not the way to earn the money. There are so many better ways of doing the hard work and earning the money. These people really need to be brought to task because this is unacceptable, you know, in, in all shape and forms. Our research identifies grot spots like this all around the country, but in different places, it's leading to the same questions. Is enough being done to find and to punish the culprits? To find answers, we used freedom of information requests and 313 councils told us of prosecution levels. In total, there were 2,226, alongside well over 700,000 incident reports, indicating as little as under 1% could end up in court. Local authorities which had the most prosecutions were all in the north of England, Pendle in Lancashire, Newcastle and Manchester. These are Birmingham volunteers, so determined to catch fly tippers, they gather evidence from angry residents. It's really disgusting, isn't it? Um, you get rats, and it's just not nice to look at it, is it? Here, Birmingham Council got two fly tippers jailed last year, but we found that's rare. Nationally, there were only 21 prison sentences. Tonight, there are new demands for tougher penalties against those who make their mess our problem.